Talk about another trend happening both here in Portland and across the country, an uptick in gun violence. Yesterday, Multnomah County District Attorney Mike Schmidt released an online interactive dashboard on gun related crimes his office has prosecuted since 2019. The dashboard highlights uh, charge details, descriptions of the defendants and victims and incident locations down to the neighborhood. According to the DA's office, from January through August in 2019, they prosecuted 51 gun-related crimes. That number then nearly tripled during the same time period in 2020 for a total of 152 cases. And this year, just this year, they've already prosecuted 285 cases from 51 to 285 in three years. Now let's take a look at the shooting numbers in general this year, which are a lot more jarring, I would say, than those uh, prosecuted case numbers. Portland has seen more than 850 shootings so far this year, leaving 283 people injured and 46 others dead. We do love talking about solutions, though, on this show, not just the doom and gloom and the bad stuff, but how it can be fixed. And we'd be remiss if we didn't mention Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler's press conference this morning. He, alongside Police Chief Chuck Lavelle, presented some specific solutions to the city's curbing of gun violence. What we're in is a new environment uh, where we have multiple public safety crises taking place at the same time. We have a police bureau that is overtaxed in terms of personnel. Uh, I have pledged that we won't just sit on our hands. We're actually moving forward on strategies to give the police bureau the appropriate personnel, the tools, the training, and the resources they need in order to be able to do their jobs effectively in this new environment. And we also need to continue to put community voices front and center around reform. The mayor says he wants to get more officers on the street immediately through a retire rehire program. This means about 80 officers who are eligible to retire in July can come back now and continue to serve. Now that program was eliminated last year for being too expensive to hire back those veteran officers. But pending some available resources, Wheeler says he'll send a proposal to reopen that program this fall. And you'll remember this one. The city passed that $6 million plan to tackle gun violence earlier this year. More than $4 million was given to community groups and nonprofits that work with the neighborhoods hit hardest by gun violence. More than $1 million went toward hiring two dozen unarmed park rangers. None of that many went to, money went to the Portland Police Bureau. So where do we go from here? Well, Wheeler said the $6 million is going to good use through the community, but says it's hard to see when the number of shootings continues to rise.